How's it going everyone? My name is Raw and today what I'm going to be doing is bringing you my pre-fight predictions and what I think is going to happen for each match and who's going to win. Now guys, if you'd like to see some more of this in the future, uh, this is obviously UFC 196 uh, featuring Conor McGregor and Diaz. I'm really looking forward to this. Conor McGregor is obviously my favourite fighter, if you guys didn't know. Uh, followed him for years since he just started in MMA and moved into the UFC. So I'm really, really looking forward to this fight. Uh, this is a big step for him to obviously add on 20 pounds and come fight Diaz, which is a very, very well fighter. He's been in the game for a long time, so uh, this will be interesting. But guys, we're going to start off with the first fight, which is Diego Sanchez versus Jim Miller. Um, I've seen Diego Sanchez fight quite a few times. Jim Miller, I haven't seen him fight much, but I do know he uh, is good at submission. So, I mean, we will see what he's going to do. Um, I would like to say Diego Sanchez will pull this out of the bag just with his fighting and his skill and his speed. I do think he'll fight. So let me guys know each fight I predict. I would like your prediction as well. Just let me know down below what you guys think. Um, and obviously, if you would like to see some more UFC in the future, definitely hit that like button and subscribe. And I definitely will be doing more videos like this. The next fight, we've got Jason Sago and Justin Salas. I don't know much about any of these two fighters, but by just looking at their stuff here, their stand-up game and their submission and their defense and stuff, it is quite, uh, it's quite one-sided, which is Jason Sago, so he should be winning this fight. Uh, but yeah, I don't know much about these fighters, so I can't say much. And then we've got our uh, featherweight fight here. Uh, which is Julian Rosa versus Tirito Ishirara. Um Now, I do know Julian Rosa is a very well stand-up, and he's good at fighting. I watched him in the Ultimate Fighter Season 22, I believe, which is McGregor and uh, Faber. That was very, very well, and he won that. So he's fighting the boy here today. So this will be very interesting to see what happens. Now we've got the Bantamweight. This is interesting. Holly Holmes versus Tate. Now, Tate's a beautiful girl. Holmes isn't that great, but you know what I mean, it doesn't matter about looks. We're going here with skill, and Holly Holmes is an absolute animal. If you've seen, the, obviously, the Ronda Rousey fight in Holly Holmes, you'll know that Holly Holmes, better on speed, better on fucking skill, better on, obviously, the punching and her technique, and she just absolutely made Ronda Rousey look like an absolute mouse. It was unbelievable. She was missing punches, missing kicks, going for like takedowns, and just she was just pushing her to the side to like get the fuck. <laughs> uh, Holly Holmes, though, honestly, she's an animal. It's going to be very hard for any girl to come in here and destroy her. Um, I believe she could even knock out some guys. It's ridiculous. She's so strong, very skilled. Then we're going here with the main card of the night, the big headline, obviously, McGregor versus Nick Diaz. Now, Nick Diaz is a great fighter, yeah, um, he's been in the game for a long time, he's very strong, he's beaten a lot of good opponents and stuff, but Conor McGregor is just something else. Like, obviously, he lost his two fights when he was in the MMA, and then he just, from there, he's just went on a streak, and he's just destroyed every single person in the featherweight division, and just made them all look absolutely pathetic they are everyone in the fights he's just made them look funny um so we can go right from here back to when he was in sweden in 2013 uh when he knocked first person out marcus brimage first round then he fought max holloway that went to th round three that was a decision that was a good fight but then he fought Brand nando first fight boom first round then he bought uh fought dustin absolutely busted him up i both eyes screwed his heed when he put that knee into him that almost knocked the boy out, and then he just obviously finished him off in the first round. Then obviously he came to Dennis Silver. It was a good fight, but there was only one person that was going to win, and that was obviously Conor McGregor. Chad Mendes, when he fought him there, that was a good fight. That went quite a distance. Chad Mendes actually gave him a good fight and actually made him dazed a few times, and McGregor did know that. But obviously his powerness came through. He got a second wind and just came out in guns blazing and destroyed him, and he won by KO. Uh, then we've got Jose Aldo, <laughs> that was just honestly the biggest joke of all, I mean it was one punch, boom, he's on the deck, it was unbelievable, it really really was unbelievable, that just shows you how strong McGregor is and just how he wants it, he, his hunger for this is unbelievable, he's just the best fighter in my opinion and I cannot wait for him tonight to come out and destroy Nate Diaz. As you can see here, his weight was 170 uh, pounds. Uh, I think he put on 15 pounds for this fight tonight, so he's 185 pounds and moved on up. 
for this fight. Um, so honestly, this is going to be a great welterweight fight. I cannot wait. My predictions for tonight, one more time, is McGregor, Holmes, Valente, Lawler, and Nunes. And then Thatch, Th uh, Taleb, uh, Gumerez, and Skelly. And then obviously Sanchez, um, Sago, and Arosa. So guys, thank you so much for watching. This is my UFC 196 pre-fight predictions. Hope you guys did enjoy this. If you'd like to see some more of these in the future, definitely let me know down below, guys, and comment and let me know what you guys thought and what you think of the UFC and your predictions. I would like to know. And if you would like to see some UFC 2 gameplay, definitely let me know as well because I'm definitely thinking of getting it and uh, posting some videos and stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Peace.